Hey there guys, welcome to the next tutorial here on the channel. A little while ago I made a time lapse on making a duct tape deck box for like trading cards, playing cards, baseball cards, stuff like that. So I'm actually going to be filming a tutorial here and we're going to be making a deck box for any kind of cards that you guys uh, happen to have at home here. So let's get started here on the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the stack of cards that you're going to use. If you're using like a deck of trading cards, you're going to get those out. If you're using like two packs of playing cards and you want to throw them into a larger deck box, get both of those out, stack them on top of each other, and that way you'll know exactly how big you need to make the deck box here. So we're going to get our cards here, we're going to stack them out like that, and now we're going to start making the strips that are going to wrap all the way around this piece here. So that's going to be our first step. So to make our strip long enough to wrap all the way around it, I'm going to go with about 12 inches. That's a little bit probably a little bit larger than it really needs to be but you definitely want to make it long enough so that it's going to wrap around here without any trouble and of course we can always you know just trim a little bit off if it's a little too long it's a little bit easy it's a little bit easier to do that than it is to add any more tape to it so what we're going to do is cut out several strips here once again these are about a foot long and we're going to be sticking these together to form a really large sheet of tape here so I'm going to get my first one here and peel that up Stick the second one right on top here. And depending on the height of your, your cards, you're probably going to have to do this a few times. And you know, just make sure that it works. And hopefully if I don't get any really stuck together here. Whenever you're working with larger strips of tape, it can be a little bit tricky because they tend to warp and crease in a bunch of different ways. So we're going to take our first two and stick them together just like that. Take our third one and apply it just a little bit here. If you are trying to line up the checker pattern, of course you can do that. I'm just kind of just using it right here as a guideline. So as you can tell, they're not. it's not exactly as high as the uh, the cards here. I need to make it a little bit larger, so I'm going to take uh, three more strips and apply just a little bit longer here, and then I'll use that sheet for these cards here. So now we've used six strips of tape, three on each side, and as you can tell, if I throw one of the cards down here, it's more than, you know, high, higher than the card on both sides, which is great. So now what we're going to do is take the entire stack here, throw it in the middle, and as you can see, we have plenty of room, and it's going to overlap by a lot. You can probably bump it down to 10 or 9 inches, depending on how large your stack here, but for about, uh, say, about an inch and a half high stack of cards, you're going to go with... Uh, probably 9 or 10 inches. So 12 was a little bit crazy, but I just wanted to make sure that it actually fit here. So now what we're going to do is do a little bit of trimming, and we're actually going to fold this up and into a rectangular box here. Now we're going to use a little bit of room and leave a little bit of room on both sides here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out about, say, about a quarter of an inch or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. And once you mark these, you just want to mark them just a little bit with a pen, slide the whole thing forward. And then we're not going to do any cutting really, we're just going to mark this with a pair of scissors and by cutting just a little piece there. And then what we're going to do is use that as our mark to fold the entire thing here. So just crease that really good with the duct tape there. Get the pen out of the way here. And you go to the other side and find that mark that you made and a small little cut and of course fold that down just like you did the other side. Then you'll have a perfect part in the center here. You can tell in between the two creases that we're going to throw the stack here. Now we need to do the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to look exactly where the actual deck goes to and then we're going to mark it once again just like a quarter of an inch higher than it really needs to be. And the reason why we do this is because when you are trying to stick the cards in if any if it's really really tight you won't be able to get them in and the cards are going to get caught on these little pieces of tape that are you know the ridges in the tape of the uh, strips that you made earlier so that's definitely going to come in handy when you make it you know a little bit bigger it's not going to get caught as much if it gets caught at all so we're going to use those two little marks once again fold those two pieces down just like we did before so we got that side and of course this side once again this part's hiding on the one of the black checkers, so it's a little harder to see. So I'm going to crease that. And now we're going to throw the deck right in the middle once again. You're going to be doing that a bunch of times, just in case you're, you were wondering. And then what we're going to do is make sure that those are both roughly even, like, you know, straight straight lines on the, on the sides here. And then we're just going to apply it and just attach it on the side here. To stick it together, just take a strip of tape that's the same length as the side here. Make sure your deck is lined up, and this can be this can be a little bit tricky simply because I mean you don't have really a solid surface to work on. You can't stick it all the way down 
on the deck simply because you're going to be messing with the sides here. So you want to make sure that they're roughly straight and then what we're going to do is you can either mark the spot or you can just very carefully hold it together and of course just you know apply it like this. Very carefully make sure you stick it on and you don't want to get any sticky side over the side here so you can trim that off or you can wrap it down underneath just like this. For the bottom I'm going to switch to purple zebra here and these are the same length as the inside here. They can be a little bit shorter because the most important part of this is that you do not want any sticky side on the inside of the uh, the deck box because they're just going to get stuck together and your your card sleeves are going to or your cards are going to get stuck to that so you definitely don't want that to happen so we're going to take our second piece here overlap it by just a little bit and take our last piece and of course seal it up on the side here this last piece here will simply work to be stuck to this side here and you can make it a little bit smaller just because you want it to kind of be you know the same size as this sheet on top if you can imagine that like a rectangle it's a little bit curved but that's just going to happen when you're make when you're making the deck box so then what you want to do is slide the whole thing in and then what we're simply going to do is attach this piece to the other side here which will be pretty simple so slide that all the way in Take another piece of purple zebra, whatever color you're making, and then just attach it here. And make sure this is a straight line up and down on the bottom here. So now to work on the flap for the lid, you're going to throw all your cards in there, just like that. And if your, car, if your deck box is a little bit taller, you can always take a pair of scissors and just you know cut that a little bit off. It is a little bit higher than it needs to be, but that's okay. You're just going to take four strips, stick them together, two on one side, two on the other, and leave a little bit of a sticky part on the bottom. And then we're simply going to put this on the back here fold it a few times and what you can do here is style it a little bit by putting a little piece of velcro here you can kind of make it like a triangle kind of like an envelope and that's pretty much how you make a deck box out of duct tape so you can make this for trading cards collectors cards baseball cards whatever kinds of cards you guys have you can stick them in a, in a deck box here so hope you guys like the video and i'll catch you next time on the channel hopefully you liked making a duct tape deck box